In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the points on an old Honda XL250. Let's get started. These are the tools I'll need for this project. With the tape removed, remove the spark plug cap and remove the spark plug. This helps you to turn the engine over when you're setting the ignition. You'll need to remove these two covers. The points are behind here and the flywheel is behind here. Place your screws in the cover. Now that we have the covers removed, you want to need a small breaker bar and a way to turn the flywheel. Rotate the engine around a couple times counterclockwise because that's the way the motor runs and find the timing marks rotate it around till it's at top dead center with the points open that would be the position in which you want to set the gap of the points right here according to the book the points gap needs to be between 12 and 16 thousandths so we're going to pick the mean we're going to use 14 thousandths and set the gap here Loosen the screws a little bit that hold the points. Check the gap. And if they're tight, open the gap. And that looks pretty good. Snug the points tight. Check them again and make sure they didn't move. Feels, feels pretty good. Now that you have the dwell set for the points, timing is set by moving this outer plate. Loosen these screws up. And the place you want to start is where the little marks line up right there. So, Slightly tap it over there. Once you're in that position, snug these up a little bit. You want to disconnect this wire. This is the wire that goes to the points. Turn on your VOM and set it for the X1 range. Test the meter and zero it out. Take your negative test lead and connect it to the engine somewhere where you can get a good ground. And take your positive and hook it to the end of the wire that comes from the points. If your points are open, the meter won't read anything. You can test it by shortening it out and making sure that the meter reads but you know that it hooked up correctly. Rotate the engine around counterclockwise. What you're looking for is the fire mark down here, and it'll be a line on the flywheel with an F by it. And when the points open is when it sparks. And you'll know that by watching the VOM. So rotate it around, and you can physically watch the points too to know when you're in the right spot. They'll close, the VOM will go that way, and the spot you're looking for is when they open back up. Now, if this mark doesn't line up with that fire mark when the meter moves, it means it's off. So, to adjust when it fires, I'm moving this plate back and forth until the mark lines up and the meter moves. So, let's do that. Loosen up the screws. Set the flywheel on the fire mark. Now we're just going to tap this around, watch the meter, move this around, Oop, a little too far, really close, snug up the screws, Then I'm going to check it. 
I'm gonna back it up. Corner turn, and then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the voltmeter and the mark at the same time. As I come up there, boom. Fire mark lines up and the meter drops. I'll do it a couple times. If it isn't a good clean drop, it means the points are dirty. If you can't get it adjusted in this range, it means that your points are worn out and they need to be replaced. The other thing you want to check is this little felt wiper you'll see on these things. And what you do is you rotate this thing and you watch the high spot of the cam is where this wiper is supposed to hit. And it keeps the, the timing cam clean and oiled. And if it's not hitting it, you don't want to put a lot of drag on this cam because this is your advance. And you can check it by turning it. It moves. As the engine speed goes on, it advances. Spark plug back in. Make sure the ignition's turned on. Get the engine over and a nice blue spark. So we know it will run. Put the spark plug back in the bike. Snug it up good. Place the spark plug cap. That's how you set the points. We'll put the covers on and then fire this thing up. With my test tank on. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically set your points, which will dramatically increase the performance of your bike. This can be done on motorcycles with points or electronic ignition with an inductive timing light. In order to do this project, your bike needs to be able to start and idle. Here are the tools you'll need for this project. You'll need to remove these two covers. The points are behind here and the flywheel is behind here. Place your screws in the cover. Take the inductive pickup from the timing light and hook it to the spark plug wire. Start the engine. up a little bit. If you have a multiple cylinder bike, just repeat the process for each set of points or trigger coil if it's in electronic ignition. If your bike doesn't run, check out my video, How to Set Motorcycle Points Statically. If you need a way to hold up your bike, check out my video, Simple Motorcycle Lift You Can Make. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.